Hey everybody and welcome to the first part of this tutorial on how to create low poly planks in Blender. And in the first part, we are going to go ahead and model those planks and then unwrap them so that we can um, texture them in the next cut following part. So, let's go ahead and do that. Um, you can go ahead and just create a new scene in Blender. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start my key display and that we also want to do a background image so go ahead and click that down click background images add image open this is going to be one of the textures for the tutorial it's called the wood planks bear 0001 off of cdtextures.com there will be a link in the description and also it will be available in the source file zip so what we want to do is go ahead and change this to top because that's the only view we will need it in. Also change the size to about a 2.4. So go to 7, go to top view. Go to 5 to get out of perspective. And tap into edit mode. Scale this on the X to about the width of that image. Then scale it in the Y to about the width of one of those boards. Front view, scale it, scale it in the Z. Go out there. Maybe a little bit more, scale it in the Z. That looks about good. Go to front view. Grab it in the Z. Let's just slide it right above that red line there. Alrighty. And now what we're going to do, when well, we're done with the background image, so you can just uh, just go ahead and unclick that, hit end and hide that panel. We're going to go ahead and add bevel, and we're going to do this manually because when you add the bevel modifier right here, the it creates some like triangles and stuff on the corners, and it makes it kind of hard to. UV unwrap. So we're just going to go ahead and do that manually and it'll save us some problems with some stretching and stuff. So what we're going to do to do that is just add some loops here. Control R and just slide it way up here. Control R, slide it down there. Control R. Control R. Like that. Zoom in here, make sure these look good. Let's grab this in the Y just a little bit. X a little bit. Grab this in the uh, Y a little bit. Until those corners are square. Head over to the other side and do the same thing. Now we just want to move this one out on the X until it lines up just like that. And now what we want to do is add two more right here and right here. And that's it. That's all the modeling that we need to do. Now let's go ahead and hit smooth shading. You can kind of see the bevel there. And we have 56 vertices, which is really good. You could uh, maybe do without the bevel if you're looking to go really low poly. And it would still be okay. And but in this case we're just going to leave it at this with 56 so now what we need to do is just go ahead and unwrap this so um, hit T to hide that and let's just switch the window here wait well wait before we do that let's just go ahead and do the seams right in here tab into edit mode A deselect everything Select that, Alt Shift, right click, select that, Alt Shift, right click, select that one, let's rotate around here, let's select that loop, this one, and this one. Alrighty, that's it, so let's go ahead and hit Control E. Mark seam, and now let's jump into 
be the editing t n so a u and unwrap and control up arrow inside that UV window. You can go ahead and hit T or N, I mean. You can see the different UV uh, options right there. You can select it to show different things like stretch and change the draw type right there. Make it smooth, modified. So yeah, you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. I like seeing being able to see the stretch there. As you can see right now there isn't very much. What we need to do though is straighten out all these lines. They're quite crooked. So let's go ahead and do that. How we'll do that is select the loops. Let's go ahead and start here on the left. And then S, X, and 0. S, X, 0. And you can just go ahead and do this for all those lines that are vertical, all those vertical loops. And for this one, we kind of got to do it a little bit different. There we go. SX0. 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 And you get the point. So, now for these horizontal ones, just select them as well, and hit S, Y, 0. And just do that all the way down. On these ones, you kind of have to do a little bit of selecting to get all the vertices in the loop. There we go. So now with that done, select everything and we're going to go UVs, pack islands. That'll just make it fit to the space that's here in the UV window. So now what we need to do, as you can see right here where it's grouped, like this loop, this loop, and this loop, these are the corners of those boards. This is the face of the board, and these are the corners, and then these are the sides. So what we need to do is just kind of resize these so that they all line up correctly. So what we want to do at first is just make those corners mapped to lots of the image that they aren't, you know, stretched or, you know, crammed in there. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just select this loop right here. S, X, actually, G, X, and just drag it over there. G, X, grab it over there. G, X, like that. Let's do it for the top here as well. Let's grab this one on the Y. And in the UV image editor, if you haven't noticed, there's only two axes. There is no Z axis, because it's just a two image. So you only can do, grab stuff in the Y and in the X. Go ahead and do the same thing over here. Trying to keep these about the same. All right. So now for this, for these ones, let's just go ahead and grab these, and we're going to hit scale in the Y. And we'll just scale them together. There. Let's get all these ones in the Y. And let's select this one, grab it, and the Y. Slide it down there. Alrighty. Now, we need to go ahead, grab this in the Y, 
move it up here. So this is the side of our board. And that doesn't need to be mapped as much either. Same with this one. Grab this in the Y and kind of make it the same with that part above. Now, this UV map looks good. It's about finished, but let's go ahead and just add that image in so that we can see what parts of the image are going to be mapped to what. So, load that in just by clicking that up, and it should be loaded in because we use it for a background image. Select everything and grab it in the Y. Let's just go ahead and line everything up here. Okay, just like that. Now you can see we need to scale different parts down here. So let's scale this in the Y. And then as well, let's grab this in the Y so we can see. Scale this one right, scale it in the Y. Grab this in the Y. Grab this in the Y. And let's also grab these ends. And the X axes. Move them in. Okay. So now that's correct. So let's scale this on the X just to fit the image here. A little bit better. Grab it on the X, slide it this way. Okay, so that looks good. So in this next part, we're going to take this texture into GIMP and clone out these lines in here so that those aren't in the texture. And yeah, just make it work. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.